I had a great time in San Francisco picking up my 1995 Mercedes C36 AMG, the latest addition to the Hoopty fleet. But now I've driven down to Monterey, California, and I've just checked into my lodgings while I'm in Monterey for Car Week. It's described in the ad as a simple garden retreat, but really, this is just somebody's uninsulated garden shed in their backyard. Believe you can and you will. Follow your dreams. Now you might be wondering why I'm staying in someone's backyard uninsulated garden shed surrounded by positive messages. And the answer is, this is the cheapest bed in town. It is only $45 a night. By comparison, the Motel 6 during Monterey Car Week is $300 a night. The best things in life are not things. Now there's a lot of things you can do in Monterey during this week, and a lot of them are really, really expensive. But keeping in the theme of my lodgings, I'm going to show you how to do Monterey Car Week on a budget. Namely, how to spend three days here and spend less than $200. But before I show you all the cheap and free things to do in Monterey Car Week that'll fill three days and you'll have a blast, I need to get a good night's sleep. And the only heat they have available for this room is an electric blanket, which I thought they got rid of the electric blankets in the 1970s because they would short out and burn people alive. But anyway, here we go. <clears throat> oh, and of course, I'm going to write a lot more about things to do in Monterey on the cheap in my article, which will be linked below at autotrader.com slash oversteer. It feels kind of warm like I just wet the bed, actually. It's kind of weird. I've heard this old legend that if you turn off the lights, look into the mirror, and say Doug DeMuro three times, he comes to you in the night, gives your car a Doug score, and then stabs you. Doug DeMuro, Doug DeMuro, Doug DeMuro. The total Doug score is 46, making it the second worst car I've scored. No, Dougie, no! While it was a little cramped and I did have a few bugs crawl under my sheets, it really wasn't that bad. The host allowed me to come to the main house for showering, and I'm right in the middle of all the awesome things to do during Monterey Car Week. I might need the camera. That's kind of important. I arrived in Monterey to my lovely accommodations Wednesday night, and for Thursday, if you can get up early enough and spank the rooster, you can actually go out and see all of the cars that are going to be in the Pebble Beach Concours for free. Yes, free. For them to get their full points in judging, they actually have to drive the cars on a section called 17 Mile Drive. It is a beautiful stretch of road hugging the ocean, but it's really early in the morning. make it over there in time to see a few of the cars still driving around, as well as a few being hauled off in flatbeds, having their million dollar version of a Hoovies garage moment. And next I headed towards the track, Laguna Seca, or Mazda Raceway, for their historic races. Now this is normally a hundred dollar plus deal on the weekend to attend, but on Thursday for their practice day, it's only and you get to see a lot and really have the place to yourself. Now I know what you're thinking and it's not just ancient race cars participating in glorified parade laps. Oh, you pretty kitty bang bang, kitty kitty bang bang, we love you and our pretty kitty bang bang. There is some seriously expensive hardware here from more recent decades. Jag. Those ain't replicas. A million dollars? 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 A million And their owners are racing these cars full out to win. Certainly not for money, but for bragging rights.
Additionally, there are several vendors on display, including a Land Rover booth that luckily didn't recognize me and offered a test drive. Just right to the front of the line and I get to drive a Range Rover off the road. How cool is this? Awesome. Last time I drove one of these, I almost rolled it. Uh, well, now you can redeem yourself. <laughs> I could spend the entire day at the track and be entertained, but if you are looking for something a little different to do later in the afternoon, there are the auctions, incredible classic car auctions, where they're selling cars for more money than either of us will ever make in our lifetime. At the auctions, you see more competitive behavior from the top 1%, who often set new record prices at Monterey Car Week auctions. For example, this street-legal 1995 McLaren F1 later sold for over $15 million. $15 million! Unfortunately, there's no bargain rows for hoopty buyers. I checked. Thanks to Doug, I know how to open one of these up. So that should fill up your Thursday. And then moving into Friday, you can do all of the free car shows that are around on some very exclusive golf courses. I started the day with my Mercedes homies at Legends of the Audubon, which had Mercedes, BMW, and Audis out the wazoo. What's your favorite car here? <laughs> that one? <laughs> then I snuck over to the works reunion for the Porsche Club. If they knew what I was doing to my Porsche, I probably wouldn't have been welcome there. Now those are the two that I attended, but if you just Google around, you'll find there's car shows for virtually every person's taste throughout Pacific Grove and Monterey. While wandering around an area called Cannery Row, I came across this crazy display of hypercars I know nothing about. This is not my world, this is his world. <laughs> I'm in Hoopty Land. Saturday and Saturday is a tougher day since many of the events are super expensive to get into but you really don't have to go to any of them to see amazing cars throughout the whole time you're here the car spotting is just unbelievable here's an example of a few cars I just saw driving around <laughs> And when I mean check out the parking lots, most of the time they're improvised parking lots. Like here, I'm on a golf course in Monterey. If I was doing this with my car any other day, I'd probably get arrested. The Concorso Italiano is just right over there, and it's $200 per person. $200. That's crazy when you could just walk around the parking lot and see all the incredible cars for free. Maserati, Ferrari, 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 Ah, Corvette's trying to sneak in there. Depending on what nights you booked in the garden shed, you can leave Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning and skip the $375 ticket main event, Pebble Beach Concours, and just drive down the incredible Highway 1. So with three nights of lodging, a couple of bargain tickets, but mostly free car spotting and events, you've had a great experience rubbing elbows with gazillionaires at Monterey Car Week. And it's all less than like a couple of tickets to Disneyland. Why not? ba 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 da 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 ba 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 ba